To perform the center of gravity method, you need to take a map like the one you see here and overlay it on a grid because we want to be able to get X and Y coordinates for different locations. So how can you do that on your computer? Well, if you have a Windows machine like what we're looking at here, we can use a snipping tool to essentially screen capture our map. So I can go and, and type in snipping tool, new, and here I'm just taking a map of Red Deer. Now, if you have a Mac computer, then you can press shift command four, and that will give you that same capability as the snipping tool where you can then um, highlight the portion that you want to capture. And I'm just being a little bit lazy here and not pulling out my Mac to, to show you that same step. But Shift Command 4 on a newer Mac. If you have an older Mac, then the name of it is Grab It. And you can type that into your search at the bottom of your Mac um, rather than on the Windows machine where we're using Snipping Tool. The newer version, so if we're looking at 2019 operating systems and newer, then you have that built-in capture, which is the Shift Command 4 on your Mac. So try that first, and if nothing comes up, maybe you have an older system, and uh, try grab it. Okay, so once we have done our capture here, so whether it's a Mac or Windows, you have captured your image here. We want to copy that image, and I'm just hitting uh, Control C, and I'm going to open Excel. So we said with the center of gravity method, we want to do is we want to be able to take our map and put a grid on it. So how do we turn Excel into a grid? Well, if you highlight across, so you see here, I just kind of click. So I have the entire column and I have a bunch of columns. Well, when I do that, I can adjust the width of these columns to be fairly small. So I'm just going to highlight quite a number of columns and I'm going to make them all the same width and make them a smaller width because this is going to be the grid that I'm going to use behind my graph. So what I've done is I've made the columns about the same width as the rows and I'm going to shrink my map just a little bit. We don't need it that big and make our screen bigger here. So when we are creating a grid, we need to label our axes. And the bottom left corner is zero. So then what we wanna do is we wanna say, okay, all the right lines, okay? So here we have a one with a line to the right. So that line is gonna be one, and this one's gonna be two, and this one's gonna be three. And I'm just going to highlight all of that and drag it over. So now I have coordinates here along the horizontal. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the vertical. Okay, you see I've written zero, one, two, three here. I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm gonna take that little cursor at the very bottom right, and I'm gonna drag it up. So now we can do our center of gravity method by finding coordinates for certain items. So I can actually insert a little shape or icon, maybe we'll do a little star. And I'm just going to mark uh, the locations. So let's say I'm going to mark the locations of Walmart in Red Deer. So we have one here, and then we have a Walmart here. Okay, so then if we're doing the center of gravity method, I'm gonna need some X and Y coordinates. And so we're going to look at for our Walmart. We're going to go over and we see that it lines up about with, um, what is that, 17. So our X coordinate is going to be 17. And then we look up and here we're doing the, what do we have here? We have the, the line above. So we're going to go, what is that, about six or seven? So now we have a coordinate for our first Walmart. So this is Walmart South. And we can do the same thing for our Walmart North by saying, okay, well, Walmart North, we're going to the right line to the right of the number. 
So what is that? Is about um, maybe 1920. Okay. And then for our y axis, we're going to go here at what about 28. So now we have found coordinates for multiple locations, and then we can do our center of gravity calculation to determine another, maybe a distribution location. So where could we warehouse, uh, provide supplies to our two Walmart locations? Uh, when you do the center of gravity method, you can have it be a weighted average. So you can look at how many goods are being moved to the different locations and weight it based on where um, more of the goods go. So if we're shipping more to Walmart South, we want, may want to locate the warehouse further south. Or we cannot weight it and we can simply look at location, in which case the center of gravity method will give us something that's halfway in between. But here's a quick way to create that overlay of your map and your grid in order to perform your center of gravity calculations.